After one year of use, we can see we've lost a little bit of fluid. We've also got a lot of scaling, a lot of residue. And I think that's from the opaque fluid. So what we're going to do is break this down and drain it out and see what's in it. have a little bit of dust so they do not have any dust filters on this dust on little sleeves everything seems to be holding up okay a lot of dust right there yeah. and I only have one intake fan right here as you can see that is completely covered in dust all right, so as we get into the system, you can see that there's a abundance of dust from not having any filters on this case. You can also see that the fluid has lost all of its pigment. It was the EK uh, cryofuel, I think solid neon green, and probably after about six months, all the pigment floated to the bottom of the reservoir. Um, and you can see where it has stained the acrylic glass on the reservoir. And as you saw at the beginning clip of this video, how when you shake it, you can see that cloud of pigment rolling around inside the case. I've decided just to remove the whole CPU cooler and everything, as bad as that fluid is. It'd be a lot easier to flush everything out. And then we'll move over to a more waterproof table. I'm actually very impressed how well this held up for using just some off the shelf hose and not really having any clamps on it, just using zip ties to hold everything down. This whole system has not leaked at all. And that is with transporting it from Florida to North Carolina a few times. Uh, so that shows how well this system is held together. And here you can really see all that dust from not having filters on the computer. Something that uh, I will definitely always have from here on out. Looks like... Go empty this out and then we'll take it apart and do some cleaning. All right, now that I got it all disassembled, we can take these little screws out here and see how much damage was done by the opaque fluid. Like always, make sure you're very careful with these screws. They're very easy to strip out, so make sure you have the exact right screwdriver bit. And you can see all the white is from the fluid. Let's see what the fins look like.
Whew. Oh my God. One year of use with opaque fluid. There's all the pigment. Surprisingly, because the processor I'm running is so low power, didn't create any issues. But if I was to be running a much higher watt CPU, that would have been a big issue. Paste. Um, I'm going to actually do a build with hardline tubing and proper water cooling here next. This was one of those things like, can you do it? Should you do it? I say you do it. A little bit of growth in it. You can barely see it. A little bit of bacterial growth. But other than that, the op opaque fluid was the downside to this. As you can see. At the reservoir, all that paste is all around the entire thing. Uh, don't even know if I can clean that. Overall, I would say that this system was very successful. If I would have stuck with uh, maybe an antifreeze or distilled water, I would have no issue at all and probably wouldn't even have to service it now uh, so for this setup I would recommend it absolutely it cost hardly anything for me to uh, use that AIO as a custom loop uh, my next video is going to be taking a 360 AIO and adding some more stuff to it to make it a little more custom for cheap uh, thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. And you guys have a good one.